I just walked through the door. Hi guys, welcome back to my vlogs. I just got back from a trip. The last vlog you guys are going to be watching is my travel vlog from Chicago in Atlanta. I landed from Atlanta like two hours ago. Just got home finally after a long travel day, what feels like. And yeah, anyway, finally home. I opened up my coffee maker. I can't wait to show you guys my new coffee maker. We got the Jura for our apartment up here in Boston. And then I'm bringing the Breville down to the Cape. I was just cleaning it a second ago. Honestly, I just kind of wanted to get that out of the way. And I was so excited to open up the new coffee maker. So I want to update you guys on that. But I feel like I have a pretty busy rest of the afternoon. It's currently 5.18. Time is flying today. It's 5.18. And I have a couple things I have to get done right now. I have a really quick little brand deal I got to film. And then I want to do some stuff after being gone for 10 days. Like grocery store, open up all of the packages I have. It's insane. I would show you guys them, but a lot of them have my apartment number on them. Maybe I can like blur it kind of. But there's like a mound of boxes that I have to go through. So I kind of want to get all that done today and unpacking and stuff before the weekend. So I thought I'd bring you guys along this weekend since I have a ton of stuff to do. So that's that. And let's get into this vlog. Welcome back, everyone. Most of all, welcome back to Miss Cleo. Hello, sweet princess. She is so excited I'm home. She can't even believe. She's like, why did you leave for so long? And now you won't leave my side. Look at her, you guys. Those cute eyes. How could you ever? <laughs> She's probably like, what are you doing, lady? The brand deal I have to record right now is really fun because technically, it doesn't feel like a brand deal. It's more of, I'm doing my everyday makeup look. People have been asking my last couple TikToks to do a makeup routine. And I've been doing like a simple makeup look like a, this is more of like a daytime one that i've been doing lately since my skin has like totally been knock on wood clearing up i've been using like skin tint and just like super light products so i wanted to record that for you guys to get it up on either instagram reels or tiktok so i'm trying to be good with content i feel like i feel inspired again so I have my makeup bag of what I've been using lately right here. It says wifey on it. I've also been getting a ton of questions on where it's from. Here's the brand right here. By this girl on Instagram. I think it's pronounced Mao. And I don't want to say it wrong though. Because we all know I have a tendency of mispronoun mispronouncing things. So yeah, I'm going to do this real quick. Show you guys makeup i've been doing lately and yeah i'm gonna put my octobuddy on my phone i got one of these ones from amazon that you can like take on and off like there's a side that has a ton of on this side so i'm honestly gonna put this on my oh shoot put it down onto my mirror then put it up perfect all of this lighting in here sometimes is a little bit. I need to get a new ring light. Like the, I need a new one. Cause this one has that lighting that's like super cool. The cool lighting, not the warm tone. I need a warm tone light. That doesn't look too good. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It looks good on my camera, but it doesn't look good on my phone. So I think I'm gonna have to put it right in front of this thing. finished opening up all of the boxes so I'm going to show you guys everything that I got a ton of bikinis from Frankie's 
These are a couple of her new things. I think they just came out. And then some blues. This one, the top, I don't have the top for that one or this one yet. So those are the only two that I think I'm missing, unless they go together, I have to look. And then, so this is PR, this is gifting. Francesca sent over some bikinis, she's so sweet. She is doing some really fun custom ones for bachelorette wedding stuff. And then some other ones for the girls for the bachelorette. I'm so excited to show you guys everything, but she sent along some more of the new collections and I'm just so excited. Dolce Vita and For Love and Lemons came out with a heel collab. They've done this before, but look how cute both of these pairs are. Super cute for like Cape Summer. Dr. Dennis Gross sent over some skincare basics. I'm so excited about this. I see Kensington use it all the time and I'm gonna try it when I do makeup next. Benefit brow stuff, obviously. We love a good benefit brow moment. I don't even know what this is. Kinda wanna open it up. I'm just gonna, even though you guys can see me in the back. So we have, oh, a new brow wax and a pencil. Wait, I want to look at this stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so thin. I don't even think you guys would be able to see how thin this pencil is. That's the thinnest brow pencil I've ever seen. Wax, and then another brow pencil. I love their brow stuff, obviously, like we all know. Here's some more Fran Frankie's things. This is a PJ set, the pants are in the pile. And then she sent me a ton of white dresses. This one is so cute. I'm so excited about this one. And then this is like a little kind of like nighty type gown. Love that. I mean, you can wear that as an outfit too, but you know. This is so cute for the summer with like a bikini underneath. So excited for all the white bridal things. And then some of these floral, the bottoms that go to the tank top I first showed you guys. And then this pink sleep dress thing. I mean, I love wearing these types of dresses with heels. You guys know, you know me by now. This one, I'm so excited. I should like do a normal try on for these, but this one looks like it really like, hugs the girls well. I don't know why I even put it on, you guys could not see it. Halter, tie, top. Don't mind my robe also and then long lace. I can't wait to see what these look like on I want to try these on so bad, but I have so much oil on me right now from after my shower I showered like right before I finished up all this stuff. This is stuff that I ordered off of Aritzia. I got three different hats. I got a Red Sox green hat. I don't know why actually I got this huh. Okay I got, uh, this is um, the baseball team in Philly, but I got it because it has a P on it, obviously, for Peyton. <laughs> and then, or Pritchard too, and then a red one. I thought that red one was so cute. And then I got a pair of Goldie trouser looking jeans from Aritzia. I'm gonna try all this stuff on, but not right now, like I said. I got a pair of like baggy shorts from Redone. And then, this top from Redone I'm so excited about. It was a bit pricey. I got this like short sleeve. Probably gonna wear this to the gym tomorrow. One piece by their brand Golden. And then I got this like silk black corset. And then I got this little straw hat from Aritzia too for the summertime. This is a whole entire pile from Monday Swim. That is all PR and gifting and stuff. I'm so excited about all this stuff. It looks so cute. It's their bridal collection. This is like the perfect honeymoon dress, so I'm really excited. I ordered a dress from here that's a possible contendant for our rehearsal dinner. I have to try it on tomorrow, obviously, so have not tried that on yet. This is just a ton of stuff from Love Wellness. They sent over a whole entire bloat line. I'm actually really excited about this Bye Bye Bloat lymphatic massage roller. I don't know. Love that type of stuff. And then I ordered one of like the, I think this like the, is the 90s, I don't know, it's the row bag, but it's like the 90s bag or something in this velvet black 
for like an evening bag obviously i just got that ysl one in chicago but wanted to get this one too i got this off of amazon it's just like one of those ice molds for your face i have to fill this up with water and stuff and then i got two tanks from tank air just a black and a white basic tank then i got these ring things they're like ring sizers i don't even know if these would fit on my ring so i wanted to try them out though because i want to see if it would help i feel like my ring fits me in the summertime but then when it's winter time and my like hands are cold it like slides around but i mean depends on i don't know the morning and the day and stuff i got a new base for our bubbler that has a stainless steel head doesn't leak anymore our old one used to leak this one's so cute though so super happy about it i think i ordered it off of i think i looked it up because i wanted a stainless steel head so i'm so happy that we have our mountain valley with our stainless steel head on my coffee hi hi you have look how big her head is compared to like i don't know i just feel like her head takes up a lot of the screen <laughs> look at her oh it is my girl oh cleo what do you want to do today what do you want to do today do you want to go to the park and play with all the squirrels want to go play with all the squirrels at the park yeah just got back up from the gym i did Four <laughs> I can't even speak right now. I did Forma. Matt Pilates. My outfit, I want to show it to you guys. It's so cute. I got it from Aritzia. It's like the little set that I showed you guys that I was going to wear to work out. I'm actually obsessed with it. Like, I love this one. And then I'm just wearing my Aritzia red hat. But Maggie called me. I was going to go walk on the treadmill after I did Forma, but I'm going to walk later. We're going to go to Greystone and then have some errands to run. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna wash my face and shower like really quick and then change so that we can head. She's about to come pick me up soon. So yeah. I got the turkey today. I haven't gotten this in so long mm. and I'm really excited for it. It looks bomb. We made a good choice. Yeah, we made a good choice and we ordered it online because weekends, Greystone is just so busy but we ordered online so that we could pick it up. And then I got the pomegranate ginger spritzer. It's like seltzer water with, is it juice or is it syrup of pomegranate? Cause it's I know it's ginger. pomegranate syrup. Okay, so it's a little bit of syrup in it. And then Maggie got dirty chai it's like and then the same sandwich. Yeah, it's like a Ricky. I used to be obsessed raspberry with lime raspberry lime Rickies. Rickies from Sunday school in Dennisport. But, ooh, my sandwich is falling everywhere. Guys, why am I being the worst vlogger today? I totally forgot to vlog after Maggie and I got lunch earlier. Obviously, I'm back in my apartment now and I'm dressed. Don't mind all my luggage on the floor still. I'm like in the process of unpacking and doing laundry, but holy moly, Hallie's in town. I'm gonna go get some like drinks with Hallie, but I don't know what I'm wearing. Because my favorite pair of jeans are in the dryer, or in the wash right now. And I need to turn the game off behind me. But I don't know what I'm wearing. Because I don't think I like my outfit. 
that much. It's not my the top half, it's just the shoes. I don't have like the right type of heels to be wearing with this outfit because my outfit's like blue jeans, blue in the long sleeve, and then I have black heels only. I mean, not like it actually matters because they're literally just shoes, but I do need to wear a belt because these jeans like don't really... I gotta figure that out too. The only belt though that I like wearing is this one because it's the only one that fits me correctly. And the belt looks fine, but then it's like, what do I do for shoes? Because my heeled booties that I have, that I always wear, won't work with this since you can see them. So I need to wear like more of a kitten heel. So let's go see what other heels I have. And then it's like, what do I do with my hair, like a messy, I don't know if I can wear this belt. Help. Maybe I just don't wear this shirt and I switch out the shirt for like a black long sleeve. Or I guess I could do brown heels with it because I do have open toed, but they're like flip flop heels. I could try brown heels and then I have a brown belt. But then the thing is, is a bag because I wanted to use my my black bag right here. I wanted to use my new little bag, which I probably could just use. It doesn't really matter. So let's go check out how these heels look. And if not, I'm switching this shirt, even though this is like a cute shirt. Excuse me, Cleo. Okay, I completely switched my outfit, I'm just wearing this top that's from Abercrombie. I need to take the tag off of it since it's new. It's so cute. You can wear it like fully off the shoulder. You could wear it off one shoulder, kind of like how I had it. I think I like this tonight with just my YSL heels that I had on. And then my jeans are from Mother. They're like more of a, oh, I almost just fell. They're more of a lower rise jean of the Kate Danielle. They remind me of that, they're super stretchy, which I don't love. I love how my Kate Danielle jeans have a bit more structure. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. That's the last issue, but I think I'm just gonna do this with my little bag. So cute, and then I'll probably put some earrings in. I'm gonna go pick those out right now. And then I think that's all. I just don't know about my hair, and I'm so mad I did eyeliner. I don't like the eyeliner right now. I wish I had like, not eyeliner on so i may have to take that off too okay i fixed my liner i just put hoops in and then i'm wearing my hair in a little bun you guess not my best work but i mean it's whatever Easter. <laughs> You're literally on your watching a video. Good morning. I'm icing my face right now. I got this new ice mold off of Amazon like this and you fill it up, put it in the freezer, and then you can ice your face with it. So I'm so excited to start using this. I try to ice my face morning and night. I feel like I mostly do it morning. It feels the best in the morning, but especially if my eyes are puffy. I did not sleep well last night. I like woke up in the middle of the night in a panic at like six in the morning and then I couldn't pop off to sleep. I almost just got up and I like, went and worked out. But then I was like, I'll be tired later on and it's Easter. And so I don't want to be tired and like have to talk to actually like a ton of people, you know? Cause then I'd be a zombie. I do not do well when I'm tired. Right Peyton? Yeah. You don't do, you say you don't do well when you're tired? No. It's more like when you are hangry. Well, that too, but like, I feel like I'm the one who's like, in the morning, you wake up. I just got water all over my camera. You wake no, up. No, you never, you, I'm always the first one to wake up. Well, yeah, you are, because you go and you work out so early every day. You're up every day doing your morning, working out, doing your thing, and I'm over here in bed like this. 
snoring? I don't snore. Hell loud. I don't snore. Mouth open and everything. No, I don't snore. Yeah, you do. You you snore sometimes. When you snore, I can't fall asleep. And then I go like, I push, like I nudge you a little bit and then you stop. I'm uh, okay. You're a little bit of a snore. <laughs> snore. My sister used to say that when I would sleep, I would go, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> I don't know. Really? If, I don't know if that's very true. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> you think that's true? Uh, I'd have to say that I don't think that's true. What? Why? Just don't think so. I don't do that. Oh, well, I guess it's not true. I don't. I don't go. Meow, meow, meow. Nah, probably no. not. Okay, well, you heard it here first. Forced. You heard it here first. Color signs hydrating mist. Now you rub that in. Jan Marini Hyla Serum. Uh, Peyton, what are you doing today? Hello? Never mind. I'm talking to the wall. Hello? No. All of this is. <laughs> I said, what are you doing today? Oh, I have to put sunscreen on too. Color science. Sunscreen. Lola was fun last night. It was fun. Yeah. I had my first Cosmo. I always like hated Cosmos. I thought they were like gross because I don't like vodka cranberries, but Cosmo is like a martini with like a little bit of like a splash of cranberry juice and like something else and it was really good like i think i'm in a cosmo phase I finished my hair and makeup i barely did like a ton of makeup i feel like i just did like cream base products super glowy natural you know the daily makeup i did a tiktok actually or i might post on my reel i don't know i made a video i haven't posted it yet but i did a video on what i do for daily type makeup Although I'm not doing any lip products today other than chapstick. And so I'm going to get ready now, like get dressed. I have to put on my outfit real quick. And that's, that's all. My hair is blow dried and yeah. Hi guys, we're on the way. Wait, there's so many cup there's holders. There's so many cup holders in this car. We're on our way to okay, cool. our mom's for Easter. We have Chase with us. He's driving. We took Peyton's truck. Because it's like literally sitting in wait, a. So many cup holders in this car. Wait, wait, it's they, so nice. They have alcoholic drinks here? No. no. Why does it say non? Oh, it's just called Merlotini. Oh. Non alcoholic. Why would they even say that? I don't know. Well, anyway, so we're stopping for coffee. Like and if you. <laughs> yeah, they do. Honestly, they get those blue ones and they add coffee. The. Ra the I mean, not coffee. Nips. Yeah. The McGillicuddy stuff? No. Okay. Or you can get a minty Lou and add it. But like I, I don't do that. I've never done it. Get it. But we're at Mary Lou's right now. It's, it's Chase's <laughs> first time at Mary Lou's. This is like so 2018 of us to be here. We got what did I get? I got a blueberry cinnamon crumble. Oh my god, Maggie has my ring on right now and I just looked down and it wasn't on. I got so scared. This bitch has my ring on her finger. She goes, let me wear it for a sec. Oh my god, what happened to my finger? <laughs> I have a red dot. Why do I have these random dots? Like, look. Dryness. The, the rock is weighing you down a little bit. I know. I feel naked without my ring. <laughs> At least I have a little pee on my, on my finger. You have a what? I have a little pee on my finger, look. Oh, that's cute. Anyway, I'm so excited to try my Mary Lou's. I haven't had Mary Lou's in like ages. Oh, this is banana nut. What one did you get, Maggie? Banana nut? Yeah. Remember Blueberry. I had that? Blueberry. Blueberry. Remember I had that Blueberry. fan page called like -doo -doo. Banana Nut Updates oh. or BB Nut? The straws used to be pink. <gasps> They're, not They're not pink anymore. <laughs> Guys, look, we also got a funny bone. Mm. Oh my gosh. Thank you. We got home from taking Cleo on like a 45 minute walk. It's currently 7.30. And I made a Caesar salad. I just did obviously romaine lettuce and I put it in like an iceberg bath. Iceberg? What? 
an ice bath to make it crispy. That was so crazy. And then I made homemade croutons out of sourdough, olive oil, salt, pepper. Used a Caesar dressing. I really like the Primal Kitchen Caesar dressing. It's like one of my favorites. I put parm crisps, which I, which I learned from Graydon. And then I did shred Parmesan on it. And then I used some of the prime rib that we had today. I brought, well, Chase brought some home, but he forgot in my car because he ended up going out to dinner with some of his friends. So I used that as my protein and this looks bomb. I can't wait to eat it. I'm on such like a Caesar salad wave right now. So this looks so good. Why do I keep forgetting this type of stuff? Anyway, look what I just came home to. Peyton sent me a massive bouquet of flowers. This is the prettiest bouquet of flowers I've ever gotten in my life. Look at this thing. <gasps> Guys, what the heck? He is so cute. He comes home tonight. I'm so excited to see him. But what? The hydrangeas and this little hint of orange. These little things are so cute. I love these. I love the purple. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. Where do I even put it? <laughs> I'm freaking out. He's so cute. This is so random of me, but I have this like little late night. Not late night. It's... 10. Honestly, stay up with me. I just drank a latte. I have to go pick Peyton up at the airport. They land probably, hopefully, he said around 12.30. I'm hoping it's around 12.30 or 1. But that depends on like how quick people get onto the plane and stuff after the game. Which I'd assume they all want to get home because they haven't been home. But anyway, as I ramble, I'm working on a project right now. I got these jugs off of Amazon. They're just 32 ounce glass jugs that come with this little cap. They're literally like the Air One juice jugs that like have the cap that's like this and then they just say Air One down the front. When I'm at Air One, I like bring my jugs home and I reuse them. They're, oh my gosh, the little 12 ounce juices. I think they're 12 like the glass jugs those are so good when you bring them home when you fill them fill them with ice and then make like an iced coffee but anyway i'm working on a project where i got these and i'm labeling them for milk and stuff this oat milk is the what's the brand name okay there's like nothing in my trash don't worry minor figures barista oat milk i know oat milk isn't good for you but the minor minor figures one is probably i don't know it's better but peyton loves oat milk lattes so i buy him the minor figures oat milk because it's honestly the best the milk one does not make the same latte like when you're trying to make a vanilla latte at home you you have to get like a good oat milk anyway and then we use the graystone vanilla but that's besides the fact. I ordered these off of Amazon, like I just said. And then I ordered a label maker off of Amazon. This is by the brand Make ID. Mine's currently plugged in because it's charging really quick. I'm gonna put this back. And I just poured the almond, the milk brand almond milk vanilla one. This one has four ingredients. So this is obviously like oh, this brand's better for you. Peyton can't have almond milk because a almonds bother him he's not like allergic but he has a sensitivity to them so i'm gonna create a label and this is what the label like you it comes with an app that you download and i just did oat milk for one because that's today's date and now i'm gonna do almond vanilla almond milk okay i'm gonna print ready and it's gonna print out of the little machine 
and then you just oh what oh no i oh guys i did it wrong let's print it again oh it doesn't fit oh it does fit oh no it doesn't now it's working and then this is the button you use to yay <laughs> watch me label everything anyway now i have to put this onto the bottle vanilla almond and then i did milk the brand for wine so i think i explained why i got the label maker and everything to do this because our new coffee maker when you make like a latte with it you stick the like the it's like a little what you call it straw type thing into whatever the milk container i just wanted it to look kind of like aesthetic for some reason i was thinking about putting this blue bottle cold brew in here i guess i could might as well i'm gonna open up this olipop too and add it. do you want to go outside you want to go outside let me make this label and then we'll go outside okay come here oh oh <laughs> Hi. Oh, I don't think I like Olipop anymore. I've been drinking coffee all week. And I think I'm like so sick of, oh, you just want to love and hug. Guys, she's literally human. Oh, you're so big. You're so big. Who even believes you're so big? She just wants to be hanging out. Guys, I swear she's so needy. But it's the best way possible. I'm not saying it in a bad way, in the best way possible. I got you. Okay, get down. Okay, blue bottle cold brew. Should I put it in here? Yeah, we might, might as well, we have one more. Blue bottle cold brew. Yay. I love this little thing. I'm gonna like label, I wish it was translucent, but should have done more research. That one's done. I just tried on this new workout set that I got from Form. They sent it to me and it's so cute. It's in a new color bloom. I'm obsessed with this color. I saw Sammy wearing it on her Instagram the other day and I was like, wait, I need a workout set in this. This bra also, sorry, I'm like freaking out, but this bra is like the most supportive, comfortable style bra ever. Looks like this in the back. It's just so, so, so cute. And then this little skirt is even cuter. This skirt would be so cute with like a little quarter zip or some sort of like tank top or something, or t-shirt over top, because this summer Peyton and I are gonna take golf lessons. So I need some like a little golf outfits. But this skirt is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I love this color. I want to start off the vlog. It's been a sec since I have vlogged. I took about, I want to say a week or so off. Also, I got this new fuzz Sherpa from Park. Just came in the mail also, and I'm so excited because I've been dying to get one of these. I've been seeing Chelsea wear them. She wore one to our workout that we all went to while in Miami. And I was like, wait, that is so cute. And I'm so happy that I finally have one that I can wear around, like, so cute. But anyway, I took a sec off from filming. I was still posting on other things, but I took a second off from recording because honestly, I had a pretty tough last like two weeks. Um, everything is good now. I posted a, I actually posted a TikTok like get ready with me video and I was talking about how I said like I was like sick or something, not like sick, but I was like, they don't know what's going on and everyone was like, she's pregnant, she's pregnant, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> So I deleted it because I was like, I don't want people to get the wrong idea, I guess you can say. But about, I want to say it's two weeks ago now, oh, more than, I think like three weeks ago, I found a like lump on my boob. And 
I don't know if this is like TMI, but I found a lump on my boob and I was like scared about that. But obviously like I'm super young, so it is rare for someone being so young and a lump that you find being probably breast cancer. But I have had, I think it's been two members of our like aunts and great grandparents, stuff like that who have had it so it puts me at a higher risk so i got super i don't know i just wanted to make sure everything was good i went to one doctor and she kind of was like oh like let me know in two months if it gets any bigger and i was like wait a minute like i want to know now what it is instead of two months from now when it's gonna be right before my wedding you know so <laughs> i had to get a ton of testing done. I did ultrasounds on my boob, a ton of things like that. I just wanna kinda of keep you guys in the loop. Everything's good. It was fine. And it was more of just like a hormonal lump probably. I'm all good. I was just worried for a bit. And that is a reminder for you guys. Us women need to make sure we're up to date with our doctor's appointments and our yearly checkups that we have to do where whether it's breast exams if you're like over the age of 30 i don't i it, think it's different for everyone because some of them were saying like i have to start doing them at 30 but some people start doing them at 44 so i think it's just different for everyone or different at different doctors or stuff i have no idea but make sure you are getting your yearly checkups for your breasts yearly pap smears even though those are like uncomfy and mammograms are uncomfy i've heard i've never had one before but make sure you're doing that going to the dentist every so often what is it like every six months physicals like things like that just if you're able to just make sure you're keeping up with it because i always forget like i'm over here and i feel like i'm on top of things pretty like i'm pretty on top of things but moving to boston and like moving around and traveling a ton i always kind of like forget so make sure you set a time where you're like okay this is when i'm gonna have all of my appointments and i'm gonna get them all done and get them all in because like it's not good if you don't you want to just make sure you're healthy so we're in all good health and i'm happy and i'm so glad so yeah that's that and that's my little update on what happened but i just found out on monday that it was all good and today is wednesday so thank goodness and anyway i just wanted to keep you guys in the loop because if that's i don't know just to let you know why i haven't really recorded much we're gonna get back into recording now that I'm at ease again because I was a little bit stressed out. I feel like I was like super on edge for the last two weeks. Like had no idea and no one was saying anything to me. Like no doctors were saying, saying anything to me. So I was just like, what's going on? Please help. But we're good. A lot of exciting stuff is coming up now that it's nearing the end of April and beginning of may it's so crazy I'm leaving for my bachelorette soon which is so exciting i cannot wait to go and be with all of my friends and our moms are coming my mom and peyton's mom is coming and then yeah it's just gonna be so much fun i'm like so excited to go it's gonna be great jessica's not coming though which is so fine because she has a child and they just moved and like they're going through all the moving and stuff like that so that's just a lot and being away from her family where like obviously i feel like when you have a kid and you're near family like they're able to like help out and watch and stuff but like i told her like i totally understand if you can't come because i can't even imagine having your hands full like that like please do not worry about me so yeah but i'm super excited otherwise it's gonna be great the summer is gonna be super exciting too and playoffs are starting the first game is on sunday today is wednesday so that's crazy too i wonder who we're playing we don't know yet i say we like it's me but i don't know who the boys are playing yet so we'll have to see about that and where we're going to be going and stuff i'm really hoping 
somewhere warm because that would be nice that would be really nice even though it's getting pretty warm here in boston it's been great the weather's been amazing yesterday was so nice out i brought cleo for the longest walk yesterday because it was so nice out and it's nice out again today so i think i'm gonna head down work out and take her on a walk either here i have to figure out what time peyton leaves practice because we're gonna head down to the cape today so i'm either gonna take her on a walk here or on the cape i'm like so excited maybe both probably but yeah where is she she's laying do you want to go on a walk Oh, you're so pretty and perfect. We got a new harness. You have a hair on your nose. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, I didn't see all the way up. Let me see. You got a little hair on your nose. We, on our walk yesterday, we stopped at one of the dog stores. Ooh, you're pushing me over. In Seaport. And we got her a pink harness because everyone says, Oh, what a good boy when you have your black harness on. So I got you a brand new pink one. So people are like, yes, you're a girl. And the guy at the harness place or the dog store was giving her a ton of cookies. She was like so excited and so happy that I feel like now every time we're going to walk by, you're going to want to go in for a free cookie. <laughs> Guys, my dog gives me hugs. I've been packaging up our invitations, our wedding invites. My mom and my sister came over last week to help put them together. And today, before we head to the Cape, I'm gonna try to put all the stamps on them so that we can ship them out when we get down there and get all of our invites out so people can start RSVPing so that we know how many people are going. Because right now we're at like max you could possibly have at our venue and <laughs> I'm like hoping and praying that some people say no so that because there's a couple other people that we have to add so it's like if some people say no we can add more people guys wedding planning is so funny I honestly haven't been stressed at all when it comes to wedding planning I feel like I've been super chill it's a lot of work don't get me wrong like it is you put hours into that I'm at the good part though where you're kind of like everything's done you're flowing like we figured everything out now and the last thing i have to do is put all the stamps on the envelopes but other than that it has not been bad at all it's been pretty pretty great so i can't wait to talk more about wedding planning and all the things after our wedding and show you guys a lot of stuff i feel like that's what i want to talk about more talk about it more i feel like when leading up to it i kind of just want to enjoy this time with Peyton and I, like we're starting a whole new chapter in life and it's super exciting. Like this is such an exciting time. It's such an exciting year. So many things have happened this year that it just is like so crazy. I feel like I need to take a step back and soak it all in because I've just been like, go, 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 trying to get everything done. But really it's like this year is just jam packed with so much stuff. Like we bought a house together. We are planning our wedding we got engaged last summer and so much we moved into a beautiful apartment in boston peyton's been playing so amazing this year obviously they made it to playoffs yeah i just can't wait to see what comes in the next couple months and be able to document it with you guys because lately i've been reminiscing obviously while i was on my break from vlogging i've been like Going back to my videos from high school, like I've been watching my really, really old vlogs from high school and I used to just sit and chat about everything. I told you guys everything that was going on. If I was going to get coffee, I was going to get coffee. I was putting on chapstick, I was telling you guys I was putting on chapstick. Like I was showing everything to the point where now I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love having these memories and having like a video diary for my kids to watch back on. And I can't wait for them to see like me in high school and then they'll be able to see videos of like Peyton and I and our wedding stuff and like planning the wedding and all that. Cause if my mom had something like this, I would watch it all day long. I'm gonna go put on a workout set and workout and I'll see you guys. Hi guys, I just finished Pilates. I walked on the treadmill for about, I wanna say I did 12, 3.30. And then I just did a arms and abs. And then I did a legs and abs, I think it was, how they packaged together for Forma Pilates. 
I'm about to head back up to my apartment though. I'm gonna grab some coffee first down here in the lobby, or not lobby, in like the, this is like the, I don't know, I'm gonna go grab some coffee though before I head back up to the apartment. It's currently 1.30. To see when Peyton gets out of practice to see if we're going to the Cape still because I have no idea. We should be getting out pretty soon because it's almost two. I think I'm gonna get out around this time. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, it was good. Classes were good. I feel like already sore. Form is insane. I get so sore so fast. But yeah, okay. Let's head to coffee. Hey you guys, we woke up on the Cape. We're trying some coffee today. We headed down to this little coffee shop. And I'm so excited to get coffee. I'm sad because I was going to bring some coffee beans to our house because we have a coffee maker down here. But I didn't bring coffee beans. So we... I like wanted to wake up and have a cup, have a glass, have a cup of coffee this morning, but it's okay because now we're here. So, Peyton's already out the door. I'm trying to fix my hair. Bro, why are you locking it? I thought the alarm was gonna go off. That type of stuff scares me. Good morning. I didn't vlog much when we were on the cave yesterday. Honestly, we got down super late the night before and had to, like, we had a ton of stuff we had to do when we were on the cave. Like, certain things. Like, we had to, like, house stuff. That's, like, boring. Figuring out, like, shipping our wedding invites and things like that. So, we had to figure all that type of stuff out, go to like the post office and like set up PO boxes and you know, all that type of stuff. But we got it all done, which is good. Got all of our like adult stuff that we had to do done, figured out, out of the way. Cause that's basically why we went down there and to see the house and check on it and stuff like that. But anyway, we're back in Boston now and we honestly got back later yesterday evening and kind of chilled and then Maggie came over pretty late at night and we sat on the couch and watched old YouTube videos. I've been so into doing that lately. I don't know why. Like I had this feeling I was standing on the Cape when we were at our house. We were in the backyard and behind our house is like woods and so Peyton was like taking Cleo on some trails back there and I was watching him. And I was just like sitting there looking and it just made me feel, I don't know why, but it made me feel like when I was young, if that makes sense. Like when I was young, I spent all my time outside, like in the woods, like playing. I don't know. I was like such a freak. But for some reason, oh my God, these seagulls are like flying straight towards my building. Cleo, do you see these seagulls? That was so weird. But I was standing there and it like, literally was like such like a deja vu moment almost i don't know what it means but it was just like felt like it was like that moment was meant to happen i don't know it was the craziest thing ever it made me feel so at ease i'm like i feel like it like healed my inner child is that crazy to say anyway I made a smoothie obviously you guys just saw me in the last clip blending it all up take a guess but it's a little bit different kind of my twist on it so I did, I think it has banana, strawberry, and then I did a scoop of strawberry coconut cult yogurt for probiotics. I did one date. I did, I don't know how much of an avocado I used. I like just kind of scooped it out around the pit because I was lazy to like take the pit out. So <laughs> avocado, almond milk, but like the Malk brand, a scoop of Holly Mane, 
a scoop of the newsest vanilla protein powder and some drops of lion's mane by the 1111 brand i'm pretty sure it's, it has like a rainbow on it and then i didn't do like a coconut like thick cream i just poured a little bit of coconut cream like on the bottom and then poured my smoothie on top and that's how i got it like around these lines looking but the coconut cream i used is this really clean brand that i actually saw kenzie burke post about like a month ago and i ordered it off of amazon amazon kind of freaks me out because like it all the stuff there is like most likely like reselling so it's like do you know if it's like expired or like real i think that may just go for like skincare but anyway like one of what makes me so sad my grammy ordered because she wears the chanel number no. five perfume and she's worn this her whole life like my papa used to always buy it for her when her bottle was empty so she i guess she had like a bottle and it lasted her for a bit and then she was like ordered a new bottle like a little bit back because she was like okay i'm running low so i need a new bottle soon ordered a bottle off of amazon because she was like there was like a great deal ordered the bottle off of amazon it was fake like it wasn't even the perfume it was fake and she spent so much money on it and then like that's just so sad to me that there's like scammers out there to happen to my poor grammy like i don't know i don't like that so anyway she got it figured out though she ended up being able to like get her money back and returning it but i just don't like that like amazon i don't know something about it scares me a little bit i'm gonna drink my smoothie though i have a couple things to do today that are like maintenance work i like to call it i have a call with my wedding planners in an hour and a half and i have to drop cleo off at the groomer beforehand even though her appointment starts during my call but i'm gonna drop her off a little bit before and then what else do i have to do i have to order some stuff for the house on the cape we went down there really and i like checked off what we actually need like the rest of the stuff that we need because i was down there a week ago for a furniture delivery and the bed that we ordered came in and the leg was broken and i was like okay so they shipped that back and they're shipping us a new one but the other bed doesn't come in yet so i have a couple things i have to order like outdoor furniture not lounge chairs but like i want to do a outdoor table to eat like dinner at by our outdoor kitchen and then like towels beach towels pool towels linens towels for bathrooms all that because i want the house to be ready so that during playoffs if like friends come and visit and Ooh, can you guys hear Cleo? She's scratching her ear and that must have felt so good. Oh, that must have felt so good for you. you you're such a love. You're such a love. Oh, you just want to say hi and be center of attention today. Say hi guys, I'm just the biggest love and I cannot wait to get a groom. You can't wait to go to the groomer today. We're going to walk there because it's such a nice day out. You guys know when a dog is like your soul dog? Like look at my baby. She just sit in my lap. Anyway, what was I saying? I was gonna look something up. Oh, another update. Sorry, I like have been taking some time off vlogging. Another update, I got my Botox touched up. So I'm gonna do a video and start doing videos on what I'm doing for wedding prep and like bachelorette prep. So my bachelorette is next weekend and I really wanted to get touched up on my Botox because it was time. I had a lot of movement. Movement's fine, but like, I don't like when it creases for makeup. That was my biggest thing on why I got some more. Well, you're just the cutest baby when you look like, you look like you have flames for hair. Look at her eyes, guys. She has the cutest eyes. I don't know if you can see. I'm starting to really hone in on what I'm doing to prepare for a wedding and bachelorette stuff, like I just said. So I got Botox done last week and after that i'm gonna start showing everything else that i get done but yeah got that touched up and for those asking and wondering i go to LexRx in boston they have different locations they have selfie back no selfie beacon hill charleston nantucket okay babe you're gonna hit down my camera with your big tail so i got that touched up which is good and that's like the first thing that i got done so I just want to update you guys on that my little botox situation because 
that's the one thing that I try to get touched up. I don't get it touched up as close as like they recommend it to. I really wait until I feel I need. But something that we talked about is I get master's Botox, obviously, and I've talked about that before. But master's Botox is in your jaw, if you don't know. And it helps with grinding, clenching. Like I used to have massive jaw muscles, if you guys look back to my videos like even a year ago my jaw muscles were huge like i literally kind of had like a blockier type face because of how strong they were and they are still pretty strong she said like i could get more but i was like i don't want to get more because really when it comes to masters Bot master botox you should get it done like if anything maximum twice a year I get it done probably once a year. I got it done. I got a little touch up last year because it was like hurting me. Not hurting me, like the Botox wasn't, but like my jaws were so strong still. But I'm at a good spot where they're not as strong as they used to be and they I'm not sore or anything. So I don't think I'm gonna get, get it touched up for the rest of this year. Cause the last time I got my masseters touched up was in September, but I'm not gonna get it touched up because I don't want my face to look sunken. Cause another thing it does is since it helps with that muscle, like relieving that muscle, it makes your jaw look slimmer, which is a plus too. I mean, obviously we love that, but yeah. Uh, personally, I wouldn't get it unless you actually have like jaw problems i had a problem with grinding my teeth and like clenching and stuff so it relieved that tension a ton and did make my face look slimmer because they were so strong but i'm not gonna get it again because i don't want my face to look sunken so i don't think i'm gonna get that before my wedding but that's up i also got my hair done i got some highlights and low lights in it i in for inspo I don't know what my hairdresser does and I don't ask for a single thing. Like I just say, or I show her a photo and she does that. So I showed her a photo from, I think it was, there was a specific TikTok I saw. So this was the inspo, was Rachel Green from season six of Friends. This like photo collage, you know. I have another appointment we're gonna do. So I got that done, I think April 9th. And then May, we're going to start doing trials for hair, wedding hair. And then I think she said a week before my wedding, we'll do one more color. Because I don't want to be fully blonde like, like I used to be. But I do want some lightness to my hair because I don't want it to be fully dark for a wedding. And I don't really care, honestly, what color my hair is for our wedding. That's my update. I keep chatting and I'm going to stop chatting because I know it bores you guys. But... I'm gonna go continue with my day and continue this vlog. And then I'm gonna start another vlog that's prepping for Bachelorette. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It's kind of been all over the place. Girl, are you okay? Okay, just finished my wedding planning call. That went so well. It's so crazy how everything's coming up so soon. Like, time is flying by. I was running, not running late. I actually made it here perfectly on time for the call because I walked to drop Cleo off at the groomer and I was like running there basically. Like she was pulling me. And so we got there all as well. I got down or got ready for my call and it went very well. I'm so excited. Things are coming together and it's so soon it makes me like so excited and nervous at the same time because i'm like can't picture how everything's gonna be but i think it's gonna be so pretty and i love all the details that we're doing but before i left to drop cleo off at the groomer her daycare which our building offers like doggy daycare grooming although i haven't set her up for grooming yet in building i don't know why i haven't done that yet but anyway she goes to doggy daycare we try to let her go like once or twice a week so that she can play. She loves going. They'll pick her up in the morning and drop her off at 4.30 and I'm not kidding you, she's tired for two days because she plays all day long. Like there's normally 18 dogs down there when she goes and she has so much fun. So we try to do that for her because it's so good to like get her around other dogs and stuff to play. But her daycare came up today and dropped off this little present for playoff starting, how cute is this? It's like a little bandana for her that says Pritchard and 11 on it. 
love that. I have some more planning stuff I have to do for Stagecoach. I kind of had to get that done if all my stuff comes in the mail. And then, yeah, so that's that. My call's done though. And I gotta see where Maggie is because we're supposed to work out, but she hasn't texted me. Or is pulling in, but she's not tugging her forward, right? And back down, keeping the shoulders down. That arms stay in line with the shoulders, just pulse those hips up and down to keep the feet in line and knees a little lower. We're going down to dinner. I'm in sweats because the restaurant's just in our She's building. She's in pajamas. A boy, you're in sweats too. You can't even say. Well, I, look, I look good in sweats. Guess what night it is, ribeye. Yeah, well, I'm not getting a ribeye tonight. What? You're crazy. I grabbed some hot water on our way up to make tea. Tonight I did the lemon ginger tulsi tea. So excited to drink it. I honestly haven't had tea in so long, but I'm gonna make like a little bit of a dessert right now. Okay, not the scars on my face, like acting out. Like I was saying, I'm gonna make a little bit of a dessert. I think I'm gonna do chocolate covered strawberries. First things first. There was just a doorbell on the TV and Cleo literally thought it was the people coming to pick her up for daycare. But putting strawberries into a strainer, doing some of these chocolate chips. I don't even know which ones they are. I just tried them though, they were really good. So I'm gonna do a bit of those. The key to this is using butter. I swear nothing, it's not as good if you use like coconut oil. Personally, it doesn't mix well. Butter actually makes it melt. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit more because I am gonna use this for another recipe too. This much butter. I dried off all the strawberries as best as I could. 